boy. I don't, uh, I don't remember the last time we did magic. Was it the we Slivers did. video? Uh, yeah, I think it was when you kicked my ass with Slivers. But you turned one of mine into a tree. Yes, that was fun. That was in, and, uh, X, not X-Mage. Was it X-Mage? It was X-Mage. Okay. But now we got, we got a cool thing. We got Arena now. It's all fancy. I think it's we've all, done uh, at least one stream in Arena. We've done this before, but, uh, you started playing it again recently. I've started playing it again now that I have a full-time job. I can support my magic habit. And mostly because Vinny started, he, he suffered a Pokemon card addiction. I, I st started looking at card games again. I played the Pokemon game online for a little bit. A yeah, little I, bit of this again. I actually did look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, like, briefly. I saw, like, oh, Skull Servant deck, 100% unbeatable. And seeing it played, they don't go out of the first turn most of the time. Yeah. It's bizarre. It's like looking at that played. It's like, oh, did you go first? Okay, you lost. GG, I guess. Yeah. So, so Yu-Gi-Oh! went from being something that seemed to be pretty all right to being something, a complete, like, monstrosity of just, like, combo, 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 combo. And it's like, if I'm going to be doing that, I might as well just be playing Magic. So I'm I'm committing to Magic. So I made some of my trademark bullshit decks with the cards that are currently available in the current standard rotation. I haven't tested them, so uh, yeah. you're the guinea pig. How many packs did you uh, crack in this so far? Uh, I have not spent any gold. Okay, well, I need to I need to send you uh, some cash for some gems so you can get some more cards. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm good point. without that. Uh, I I'll, wanted to I'll, ask, I'll... what do I spend? What, what's the best way to spend gold? I looked online um, and someone said it was draft, but the current draft is ten thousand. Yeah, draft because draft you can pick the cards you want. Uh, so how draft works is that you get uh, you get a pack of like the draft you're in. You pick a you pick a card you want, and you keep going, and then you make a deck based out of the cards you pick, and then you uh, and then you duel, and then at, even at the lowest like win count, you can still get at least one pack. So, what did you challenge me? I don't know how to down. challenge. I just uh, know how here, to talk I'll, smack. I'll do it. Uh... Well, the info I found online said that. Uh, like, draft was the best, but that was when draft was 5,000 instead of 10,000. So, I don't know if now that would be... It'd be better to spend the 10,000 or just get... You know, 1,000 1, gold is a is a starter, is a set. Uh, you could just, uh... In that case, you could just, just crack packs the normal way. Get at least one rare per pack. Yeah, you know what? If it's 10,000 per draft, yeah, just, just crack packs. Can I? Oh, oh boy, there's oh. a lot of. There's okay, a lot of I got it. It's gonna be best of one, so. All right, my deck. Hello, Darian. Uh. No oh, select deck. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'll I'll go with this one. So these are all just uh, these are all just standard decks. I didn't make anything fancy like uh, commander or such. They call it something so, else in this. You said th this is a different format in this. It's basically brawl. Brawl is basically commander, but forty cards less, twenty five life, and uh, standard only. I think is brawl. Hold I go on first. A second. Why is? Uh oh, technical difficulties. Yeah, technical difficulties. The window in OBS is not updating. What? That's weird. Okay. Display capture. Problem solved. Okay, Nothing to worry about. Are you good? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Now I see my mouse and everything. Uh. <laughs> I've been playing this game a lot. Look, I even got a Black Lotus as a pet. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I really like playing Magic. I've still not that good at it, but... Are you gonna? Okay, you got. Did you mulligan? Yeah, I did mulligan. Right, what's your land at right now? Uh, did you did you not have like that much land? I, I didn't, and I still don't. You, but I don't want to mulligan again. No, no, no. I mean for your deck. Did you just put like? No, I put the recommended amount of land and then a little extra, I think. Okay.
this this music's pretty rad on my end. Yeah. Uh, Darian, levels sound okay? I'm gonna announce. We should announce our move so that we so that we so that we can make this more entertaining for the viewers. Oh, okay. So we I'm gonna throw do down uh, style. So I'm gonna throw down uh, uncharted territory, unclaimed territory rather, and uh, set it for Merfolk. And then that'll allow me to tap any mana or any color uh, if it's the same kind of creature type. And I will throw down a Merfolk Wind Robber. It can fly. You got a mermaid deck. Uh, merfolk. Mermaid is, is sexist. It discounts the men. Oh, okay. Enters the battlefield. Choose a creature type. It's pretty okay. good if you're running all the same creature type, honestly. Also, you're probably going to hate, hate my wind robber. What does he do? <laughs> if he uh, attacks and he does a direct hit, you throw, you mill a card. Okay. Well, fuck that. <laughs> you got something to get rid of it? Oh. That's mildly inconvenient. All right. Throw down. Merfolk Mistbender. Other Merfolk creatures get 1-1. One, one. Okay, let me open up my cheat sheet so I can remind myself what all my deck gimmicks are. <laughs> Good. You're playing Magic properly. All right. Uh, Silvergill Adept. I can either uh, pay three additional mana or reveal a card, a Merfolk card, and I will. I'll reveal the one that's art you already know is my hand. So I get to draw a card. Alright, that'll be useful. Well, in my turn. Oh, you didn't react as if you were getting punched in the gut. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh! I lost two life points! Okay. That's... Shoot. I can't... I can't deal with that. All right. Uh, I still don't have enough mana. All right, I'll throw down another Silver Gill Adept. I'll reveal my my wonderful Quinn Robber. Yes. Finally, I'll throw down. Things may look bad for me now, Anderson, but I still believe in the heart of the cards. I'll say, yeah. I believe in the heart of magic. Magic. Oh, so the so me using my wind robber, you left yourself wide open. He can't defend. All right, I'm gonna summon my glass pool mimic. It'll once it's in the field, it'll become a copy of another card. I'll have it become a copy of my misbender, and I'll swing with everything I can swing with. You're down to four. Boy, I could really use some more land. <laughs> One of those games. Oh, you're running. You're running. Uh, black blue. That's pretty good. Like that color setup. Oh, um. I don't think there's recovering from this. No, nah, this, this is. You gotta. You get a bad hand. It that happens. It's cool. Tie up your thing. Yeah, water bending. Water knot. Pretty good. Uh, blue, blue. Uh, not removal. Uh, this, this music. It's getting sad. All right. Well, just just be on the safe side. I'm gonna throw down another mist bender. I'm gonna. I'm gonna swing with these three. Uh, I like that there's a good game button. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to say it. I can just let the let the PC say it for me. So just that. So just out of curiosity, your deck is uh, mill deck. That was the plan. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna guess you had a lot of cards in there that would have made me really. Agitated. Yeah. Shame I didn't get to use any of them. Eh. The stream's still young. Okay, so... So, uh, direct challenges count towards my quest, but it doesn't count towards the weekly and daily rewards. 
Good to know. I, I got a reward. Stomp, stomp. I, I guess that was cards. Alright, give me another one. Uh, yeah. Do you want to do best of one or best of three? Uh, do, can we change decks between them? Oh, yeah, totally. I, I don't care. <gasps> okay, I just... Here, I'll give you... I'll give you the advantage this time. As a... As a, uh, as a show of good faith. You'll automatically win the coin flip this time. Oh, okay. So, I'll let you go first. <laughs> uh, I'll also change deck if that's alright with you. Yeah, go for it. Alright. I will use the deck that I have the least amount of faith in. Zilrog the... The, uh... The... Furry. <laughs> I got... Hmm. Uh. Yeah, sure. Hey, welcome to Strixhaven. This is this is we're fighting in one of the guild rooms. Oh. You know this isn't really fair for Yu-Gi-Oh. So because in in Magic lore, we're supposed to be planeswalkers, so we're summoning shit. Yeah. I As summon opposed a to rat. just holograms. Fly, my rat, fly! This is just magic just skipped the holograms part and went straight to the end of Yu-Gi-Oh, where they were real monsters. This is basically you Like, imagine if Yugi Moto became a planeswalker with the Pharaoh still with him, then it would then he would be like, This is awesome! Yeah. Summons a like dark magician, which is black, and it can do a lot of I wanna see people take the early season Yu-Gi-Oh cards and translate them into magic cards to see what would happen. They tra just translate the entirety of the Duelist Kingdom duels and the rules and everything, like attacking the moon and all, all the land settings. All the weird Pegasus rules that were included. Yeah. Alright, uh... Got white-green. Oh! I can, I can use this to block. Double strike. Yep. Which means it also has first strike, which means that uh, if you were to swing with that again, or if I were to swing, death touch wouldn't matter. I appear to have underestimated you. <laughs> Get him, Plagrats! Wait, hold on. You're running three colors. <laughs> oh, shit. Watch this be the only deck I win with, the one that I thought was the worst. You never know, man. Essence symbiote. Yeah. It's that Whatever. stitch. That's just fucking stitch. Yeah. Well, th does stitch can stitch mutate? Is that his his racial trait? Is that he? Good him question. And his species? Well, I, I'm not familiar with the mutate mechanic. It's fun. I'll show you when I when I get a chance to. It even sounds like stitch. <laughs> So, a rat hmm. versus Stitch. How about a rat, ver rat versus fucking nothing? <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Stop breaking my bones! It's weird, all my creatures have, have broken legs. <laughs> I just send in the mo- I hire the Russian Mafia to break your knees. Alright. Well, I'll try, try to break this- Oh, that's, uh... That's a god. Nylea. Nylea, keen eyed. Indestructible. It's, as long as your but, devotion is gre to green is less than five, Nylea isn't a creature. Okay, so devotion is basically uh, the uh, mana symbols. So I need five green mana symbols out. So I can't actually use her yet oh, okay. <laughs> as like a creature. But she is useful because her ability allows me to, uh, to fetch for creatures, kind of. I know you, you should have better creatures than what you have out there. Where are all your creatures? Do you just have land? I have a, I had a bunch of fractures. Well, that's useful. 
you have control of the board. I can't really do much. I could just send my rats in over and over again to gnaw you to death. It's a good thing planeswalkers are mostly immune to poison, I guess. Uh, okay, cool. So the card I just put down is pretty cool. It gets both a forest and a uh, and a planes. You can yeah. play it for one of its modes, but once you do, you you have to stuck stick with that. All right. I really gotta. I have a few of those, but I don't usually use them because I have some cards that uh, benefit from basic land. I need more. Mutation. Uh. -huh. Is this a mushroom? No, it's a beast. Better this creature mutate. Search your library for a basic land card. Yeah. So it's mutating. Which means that the core blade master becomes that, but it also still has double strike. <laughs> okay. So when a creature mutates, it has all the abilities of all the creatures underneath it. Imagine uh... mutated slivers. God, we we could go back to X Mage to uh to I'm play good. that. Just uh yeah, I'll mutate it again. You can tell Drazi. All right, what is this? It's it's a you fox could bird because, now. Because mutate works on anything that isn't a human. Humans are the only things that can't mutate. Oh, okay. Give it elf, it could mutate. Give it sliver, it can mutate. Alright, this will be under, so it'll fly now. Right. So it's now a flying double strike creature. Yes, which means that next turn I'll be able to swing at you with for eight. <laughs> That's a good move. Yum, yum, yum. That's a good move. That deserves a nice. <laughs> hey, you know what? At least I got mana. Man, if only I, I could have targeted your god, but unfortunately she is not a creature. Also, that wouldn't work because she's indestructible anyway. Yeah. All right. I need to find another creature. Oh, what is this? That's great. <laughs> the great moth. Yeah. Oh, some of my cards have uh, have Godzilla altars on them. <laughs> oh, you have the Godzilla cards. Some of them. Uh, do I want to try that again, or you know what? That rat's getting on my nerves. What is this? You <laughs> banish me? I'm gonna banish your rat. Oh, not just. <laughs> Not just graveyard, exile. Yeah, as long as that's on the field. So if you could remove that, you can get your rat back. Uh, hypothetical question. Yeah. Does indestructible prevent exile? No, it does not. Okay, that's good to hypothetically. Know. No, that's a that's a good way to counter indestructible because indestructible prevents against combat. Actually. Indestructible also doesn't work if you have abilities that uh, reduce base power and toughness down by a certain amount. So if you get the base power and toughness down below zero, then that doesn't count as combat damage, so that actually kills it. Is that an exile? Are the ways to destroy a card like that? Okay, so that's an additional mana. You can't tap it immediately because it's, uh, it's not... Yeah, no. it's uh, I now have the opposite problem. I have all land and nothing else. Well, I got Jack, man. You have a yeah, goddess. I... Fuck off. Uh. There's another. I don't need that. Please let it be something. Oh, you're pulling your top deck for uh, creatures. Yeah, I'm looking for creatures. 
Glowstone I Recluse. I can't summon this yet. Glowstone like Minecraft? Glowstone. Uh, it's a. Uh, it, I guess it, it uh, chills out near glowstones, is what that is. So you got a plant, not even a dryad, just a tree. You have a tree in your defense. And it's 1 1, so it says strong as a human. A human could fight this tree and theoretically win. Yeah. It could also theoretically lose since they're pretty even. However, it can't take down this egg. I love, I see, I love this. I love playing magic because it's like the lore just makes the matchups kind of hilarious. Oh, you're going for it. Okay, you hit me. Why didn't you block? <laughs> you, oh, god damn. That's not gonna help. Alright, I'm going for it. Is Mothra's egg gonna hatch into a spider? Yep. Mothra, you got some splaining to do. Five, six. Let's see if I can grab something else. Come on, Neela. Uh, well, that was a bust. That's mainly why I have Neela. Not just if she mutates into a, if she's able to become a goddess, I can mutate a creature or with flying onto her to give her like flying. Because despite being a goddess, she can't fly. Yeah. That's crazy. Really One give less for all creatures token. isn't bad. Yeah, that, that's why I that's why I have it because it apparently also counts for the mutate cost. Unfortunately, she's legendary, so I can't just like throw a bunch of them on there. Yeah. See, I I'm gonna guess you have something in your card that gives your creature death touch. You don't know that. I've, do you know how long I've been playing Magic? I, I can kind of... You the ebb... That's, it's Stitch again. Yeah. I just, I, I, I'm, you're using a lot of cards I've never seen, so i got to learn about these. That's fine. Oh. Uh, you, another you, cryptid. You, or a carotid. Basically yeah. a cryptid. I got a tree too, man. And look at that, I also have the world tree. Here we go! Battlefield Raptor, flying first strike. Yeah. I would have had a healing hawk, but uh, those are out of standard right now. Well, then my turn. <laughs> God. Hey, do you like my pet? It's a black lotus. They're yeah. rare, you know. People I, used to I, I use see it. People used to use them as cheap mana sources. It was considered cruel because apparently they're uh, they're living. Um. Um. Hello. Hey. Two, three. Oh, fuck. Guess what? How dare you say you're not confident in this deck? Are you kidding me? I got no fucking creature. Oh, I got a pig now. That's that's yeah, great, you... but... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna mutate my fox with Stitch. I'm gonna play God like the fossils in Sword and Shield. I'm just waiting for your goddess to come to life and kick my ass, too. Uh, what, what is this? Another legendary? It's a I demigod. Could. Okay. Equal to your devotion to green. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to... I can't outswing you, I just realized. But I can block you. Because he doesn't have trample. Yeah. That's, that's, that could be useful in the right kind of deck. Four? 
yeah, the boar could be could be very useful in the right kind of deck, uh, honestly. Especially if you want if you want to just remove creatures. The problem is I have this deck built around a specific legendary creature, so I have to get and that one card. How many copies of that card do you have? One. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's that's why you're not getting it. That's why you got to crack some more packs because because uh, then you can get uh, wild cards and you can just uh, get the cards you need. I used a bunch of my wild cards. I, th I think I'm out of the rares though. Yeah. That's fine because uh, this because uh, uh, Arena has a thing where if you get enough copies of a certain of like uncommons and rares and mythics, then it adds to your uh, your mythic vault. Uh, oh no! <laughs> now I you got your card. <laughs> I, I got them. He, I got my guy. Unfortunately, your plague rats rats are gone. Yeah, they are gone. Plague rats are gone. Uh. Oh. How do I change I need... what mana is going to be tapped for this? It's trying to just... tap my my character. Oh, well, just pre-tap the mana. Just pre-tap the mana you need. Then just uh, rather than do the auto tap solution, just tap your your uh, land manually, and then cast the card. I'm scared about what... What? Wait. What? What the fuck are you summoning? Oh. <laughs> I was oh. going to send flying plague rats at you, but that fell through. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can find... No. What, what you need to counteract me? I'm trying to see if I can find something. So you can't. That's not going to swing yet. And so you're going to swing with your boar. Well, that would block. kill Stitch at least. Yeah. Might as well. Wait, what? It doesn't have trample. Oh, I draw a card. Okay, that's useful. Hmm. That's a lot of stuff all at once, and your goddess is out. Yep. Swing with that boar again, that's gonna die. <laughs> Just to make sure. Sure, why not? Another Mothra cocoon. Like, two, four. Two, four, five. Ah, oh, I need to block with something I don't want to block with. Shit. Oh well. Man, I can I can even get shit back from my graveyard, but you didn't put it in the graveyard. You exiled it. It's sitting in the corner up there. Yeah. Yeah, because I banished it. <laughs> There's no corpse left. It's in another dimension. You know how all the DBZ characters should say, like, in the in like the edited dub, go, I sent him to another dimension. Yeah. Well, that's what I literally did. I literally sent it to another dimension. Even works on gods, too. So let's Vegeta, see. Just, Vegeta just going. I sent him to another dimension. It's like, and then Krillin's like, "Oh, you use banishing light on him?" Because because Krillin's a planeswalker. I want to write that fanfic of where Krillin is a planeswalker. If I were to attack you with my boar, then you would have to block with everything. However, yeah, it, it would definitely die. Obviously, yes. And I would draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Because yeah, of its uh, other well. ability. If it had trample, though, it'd be worth it. Well, maybe not. The The point I had for it was that the boar would eat up all your blockers, leaving the death touch creatures to be unblockable, was the idea of the boar. So they would be guaranteed to get through and give you poison counters. 
Oh, that's that's a good that's a good that's a, a sound strategy. If I just uh, hey, this is a little sounder than how it worked out this game, but uh, you know, all strategies uh, break in first contact with the my enemy. My fang bearer so. is flying, so I could kill your fox with him at the very least. Yeah, because he has got death touch, so I'd be forced to block it. That's or fine. would I? I could just allow it to go. Could do that as well. I will allow you to choose. So I take four, and I take two poison counters, uh, or I could lose my fox. Screw it, I'll lose my fox. See, I can't attack either, because you got that gigantic fucking boar just blocking every everything. You don't have flying besides the fox, so... No. I have no idea how many Vulpakeets I have left, too. That's not even really going to help us that much, this thing. <sighs> I just had a really good idea that I could have done, and I didn't. Shit. Can we go back? <laughs> can I... Can I... Can I undo? Okay, another mutation. Not much I can do. I'm almost out of basic land. Got anything else I could play? Maybe another... Another stitch? No. Ohana means family. Land and... Okay. okay. Come on, I need something. Sure, more mana. More mana to summon fucking nothing. Actually... And survive this is by stopping uh, demigoddess, at the very least, and that's assuming you're not hiding any spells yet. Well, no, I, I can... have no mana to cast with the, with any spells I have in my hand. Well, I can just uh, I can do this. Just just as a reminder, none no, of my creatures. No, no, back, undo. You hit the wrong button. I activated the. I thought I was in the blockers phase. I accidentally tapped him for mana. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Always check to see what phase you're on before before you do anything else in the bottom corner. Well, that could that could have uh, been that could be really bad for me. Yeah. Damage that I did not need to take. Yeah, yeah, on the on the bright side, you still have two mana uh, free, and you can still swing at me with that uh, with that death touch. I have all my mana free now. But if if you want to, I mean, you, you don't have to if you don't want to. You probably need the blockers. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh no. Aha, my tree is back! Eat that! Uh, well, that, that'll make that'll make next turn more complicated, yeah. <laughs> your, your rat, I just want to let you know your rat is still banished it is. from this plane. <laughs> if I could get rid of the card banishing it, it's like Swords of Light, except it lasts forever. It's I just pinned up there. It's not like Swords of Light because it's only the one creature. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I will say that uh, that enchantment uh, hate is uh, is green colored, but it's something that you should not like. You should have rarely. Oh, 
Oh no! <laughs> I don't... I think I just won. If I lose this, I'll tell you the, the cool move that I could have done that I missed out on. Alright, well, tell me soon. Uh... <laughs> you can banish my boar. Yeah. Your boar can join my rat. See? They'll have, they'll have a friend. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Yeah, I... I think I have won. GG. GG. Hey, no, there's a button for that. You hit the button. Where's where's the GG button? Just click on your avatar. Oh. Cool. Good game. So you did all you did all right, actually. If like, I you, had attacked you... with my boar and given him this. He would have been indestructible, and his ten attack power would have destroyed everything but your goddess in one turn. Oh, did you have, uh... You had something that gave him, give him indestructible and power? Uh, yes. And I completed... Okay. I failed to realize it until the turn that you started attacking, and then you were yeah, tapped every turn. That would have done it. That would have been... That would have been a very good, uh, a very good combat trick. I find that combat tricks are more effective in the late game than in the early game because, well, I could have just, I could have sent the god boar from Princess Mononoke to just wipe out your team. <laughs> oh man, I wish you could do custom altars in this game. I, I totally could have pictured you just throwing on the god boar alt art. Just replace all our magic stuff with uh, with anime. Yeah. That would have been cool. Well, that Hold was on. actually I... more successful than the previous game. Previous and you deck. had no confidence in that deck. Probably like... because I just didn't get mana starved. Yeah. And it would go better Be... if I had more uh, more fang bearers and more death touch creatures. Mana drought and mana floods fucking suck when they happen, especially if uh, if yeah, you're just getting hit by that. That is that is some rough shit. Poison is very hard to make work because it takes so long to get take effect usually i would say that like a really fun deck if you want to try to do because ikora doesn't rotate out for uh, for another year i don't think you should try getting packs from uh, ikora because th those have some really good creatures in there yeah yeah i love i love ikora uh i'm gonna switch decks again uh i'm run, also using this a deck. new deck my next deck i made five okay I would say the cool. fifth one is the only not really gimmicky one. This one is actually stand is a standard. Uh, all my decks I think I've used are standard except for the Merfolk deck that was historic. Uh, oh god, I now I remember why I don't like to use this deck. You get a bad start. Mm. I too got. Is that the mana? Start. I've got I've got enough mana. I just don't have I just don't have the creatures. I'd be exactly in the same spot. Y'all just back out, do over. No, we gotta, we gotta play this through, man. That that just means that the, that the duel will be interesting. Yeah, I got one off. I think I mulligan to a worse hand. That tends to happen. I wish there was a way you could just say, no, free mulligan. Menace. Menacing, menacing, menacing. Yeah, can't be blocked by two or more... Uh, can't be blocked unless it's by two or more creatures. So if you have a single creature out there, it can still go through it, because it's menacing. Because they were trying to make, like, black unblockable work. That you first had fear, which is like only non-black, no, only black creatures could block it. And then they had intimidate, which is only the creature of uh, the same color could block it. And they both they magic R and D looked at both of those effects and they're like, this is either really useless or or uh, too powerful. And then they came up came up with menace, and they're like, yep, we nailed it. What is this? What is this Piccolo Kami situation with this card? 
Oh, I casted it for for its uh, front side. So it's got two sides. Okay, so, so you have the option of cap casting either. You can't like flip it at some point. No, it's not. It can't transform. Hmm. All right, this. Learn. I'm I'm not going to use that. I don't have any learn cards in my uh, in my sideboard. Basically, you, fet you can fetch a lesson by learning. Okay. <laughs> I'm just now. I'm just. I'm picturing Pro CD flashbacks of that one video with the cows and the cheese. The perfect. The the perfect card turn. The Black Bree. Boot nipper. Uh, and... oh. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. You give it a lifelink. Yeah. I'm gonna guess you have nothing in your hand. I got ma- I- yeah, pretty much. Alright, we can well we can, uh, we can back out and mulligan if you want. Uh... Wait, what is your... I flink in minutes. Overgrown arch. Oh. I'm gonna say you're 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 really lucky right now because I don't have the uh, I don't have the card needed to make this combo work yet. Oh, okay. It sounds like a gunshot. See, the, the card art for murder is less like somebody just got stabbed or his throat slit and more like a guy standing over you holding a fucking shotgun. Yeah. From a distance, that's what it looks like. All right. Uh, didn't want to activate this yet because I don't have the necessary cards, but... It's not work if you enjoy it. <laughs> I like that, that, uh, that flavor text, yeah. So I just uh, put down dog, and... dog. Yeah, look at uh, that. Yeah, I see that. Is that enough mana for you to do something? Uh, yeah, something. Are you gonna murder another one of my skeleton arch? <laughs> you know what? That's better than nothing. You know, despite being a skeleton, he looks so regal. Yeah. Just like, yeah, I'm a skeleton. He looks noble. Whew, finally. You got your legendary creature. Vampire Cleric. Yes. <laughs> Rita's a, that's effect. A very Dark Souls concept. Yeah, Rita's effect. <laughs> target Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm gonna gain life now. <laughs> this deck is unfair. <laughs> this is even my strongest variant of this deck. Hateful emblem. Hateful Edelon. Oh. It's also got life link. Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. I should have. I should have. Oh well, like I needed the mana to throw down Veto. If you think this deck is bad, I have a black-white one that is far worse than yeah. this. Oh, man. No, that one has has other creatures that uh, don't do as much as Vito, but it still does. You're attacking. Why don't you're just going to play a bunch of spells. Fuck it. Yeah, sure, I'll block. Murderous Rider. I actually played it for its adventure for its uh, instant effect, Swift End. I honestly, these two decks, I don't have a lot of luck with, considering they just remove my creatures before I'm able to get the combos out. The only thing that really works is Dogged Pursuit, and even then. Uh, oh no. 
Man, can I get the life back when I do that? Pretty please? Hmm. Oh, I can. All right. Oh, I don't have the mana for it, though. Shoot. Whatever, I'll just... Hey, you know what? Dogged Pursuit's a common. If you have common wild cards, you could totally grab some of that. Yeah. Vito's a rare, unfortunately. Yeah, good card for... I, I think I have, like, two, uh, two of these decks are direct damage decks. Direct damage decks are fun when they, when they work. I'm not gonna block that. All right. Give me a chance to read that. Whenever you gain uh, another, when you gain life, opponent loses one life. Yeah, not as much. So it's not as powerful as Vito. Also, and I don't nice even need knowing you. Yeah. Oh, it has trample. Right. Yeah, whenever you, uh... Forgot about that. It's fine. To be fair, I you've, uh, you have you are kind of a casual player, and I've been basically putting my, putting my nose to the grindstone when it comes to this game, so... If we have the time, I'm going to try deck one and deck three again in the... In, in, like, later. I want to keep okay, moving gonna, through them, though. I'm going to switch to another deck. I keep... Uh, oh, we did. Sorry, I'm gonna keep having you win the coin flip because I don't feel good about about this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm not not to say that that I'm taking pity on you. I'm just saying that that like that was a rough right. start for that game. Yeah. Uh. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. Wasn't there a filler episode where, uh, like, Yugi entered a duel halfway through, and the kid had a really shitty deck? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, no, that was that's correct. It or was that the movie? Because the kid had nothing but monster cards, and Yugi's like, "No, I can make this work." Yeah, that's you're right. That's uh, it was the movie. Because somebody stole his red eyes black dragon. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I can make this work. Okay, sort of now I regret everything. Yeah, well, I'm gonna throw a snake at you. Death touch also goes in green. Keep that in mind. Moss viper. Look at how pretty that snake is. It's a very pretty snake. And then you got a, a gull. We're just sending an see this is what a level one like caster would be able to cast. Like I summon a snake, I summon a gull. Truly we are the best at what we do. Alright. Uh okay. No, I'm not gonna Where are we supposed to be? Is this Innistrad? This uh, background? I don't know. Like some of the backgrounds are easy to tell. Like, oh, that's uh, that's uh, Ikora. Oh, that's Zendikar. And here, is this supposed to be the fucking Witherbloom campus? I have two things that I could do.
Do you not have any land? I do. I do have land. I'm just picking which of the. Even if I, I cast my land, I can only do you know, one thing this turn. That makes sense. Fuck it. I'm gonna break your tree's knees. No. It's just. No mana for you. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye, you. Yep. Turns over. <laughs> Plant dog. <laughs> Plant dog. Plant dog, plant dog. Alone in the world was a little plant dog. It's a, is it a dog made out of plants? Is it like a dog that has obtained symbiosis? Oh, I saw that coming. Oh, hexproof. Good try, though. Yeah, perfect opportunity to play this. I'm gonna guess you have another one of those water knots or some kind of removal, because you didn't seem too panicked at that. Yeah. Do do I ever? <laughs> oh, that's useful. You're actually ahead of me on mana. I only got three, and I I would like another one, but... Just keep sending my it's bird at you. It's all I can do. That fucking goal. That fucking goal. I like to imagine your mage is just, like, wave his arms around trying to scare the stupid bird away. <laughs> it's picking my eye. You know what? You know what? Uh, you know what? The plant dog. Get him. Oh. Fuck your plant dog. Uh, yeah. It's a wall of text. Yep, just was scrolled down and clicked on the uh, accept terms and conditions. Uh, let's see. What am God I doing? Green. Trample is really good for green because any one creature can just take it down to just like block it. So right now your uh, your land composition is like a couple of really nice beaches, and then inside those beaches is a t terrible swamp. <laughs> just picturing some tourists going and just being like, "Oh, this looks like a really nice place to camp," and then they go inside and it's just a fucking mire, and they're like, "Oh, we should leave, honey." Okay. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna throw down the. Wall's back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, those two were... That's a whole lot of nothing. Uh, what am I going to do? Oh, you agreed right. to the TOS, but you still have to read the... Uh, Alright, plan B. The other thing they have you sign. Oh, you're Coil gonna get it. Serpent. It's Onyx. You're... Yeah, it's uh, it's it, it is Onyx. Except if you try to like cast a multicolored spell on it, it's just gonna shrug it off. Unless you have a murder, I'm gonna guess you have a murder somewhere. Yeah. Or some kind of. Do you really have nothing? I do. I feel as though I may have wasted that uh, resurrection card. Or not used it in a way that would have benefited me. Uh, I mean, it's either that or the, or the gull.
I'm sorry, I'm being very indecisive. No, take your time, man. I think if in, uh, in direct matches like this, they remove the timer. Finally, some land. Hmm. Oh, you can't block with that card. Whoops. There's a button for that. That's GG. I should have saved the the resurrection card for if... Well, no, I can't block with Rosh Rakshasa, so I can't even get you to kill it. Um, yeah, it's weird that uh, Rakshasa Soul Hunter, I guess, is only has that downside because its upside is, are the swamps. Because I don't understand why it can't block. With 5 mana for a 5-5, five five, it should be able to. So I have two Rakshasa decks. This is the black-blue one, and I have a bunch of, like, unsummons and things to, uh, like, bring back Rakshasa repeatedly, is the idea. That's actually not bad. I, that's, uh, that's a, that's a good way to do it. I, I'm guessing you just didn't get the cards you needed. Yeah. Also, it just takes a lot of mana because is so expensive. I'd say it's too expensive. Like, that, 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 that's just me. I can see what you're going for with that. I don't and feel honestly, like, I, like I got cheaped out like the Red Rock Shasta deck, at least. Like, I got okay. a chance to start that match. Send a bird at you. <laughs> That's fun, just... Rock Shasta! Alright. Uh, oh, I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my black white life gain, just because I want to show off the uh, the stuff I showed you on Discord a couple of like a while ago. Oh, it was a deck that I got. I, I got a I got a red green pre made deck for the first match we did. Oh. Hmm. Uh. It's not fine, but yeah, no, it's fine. What the? Rough start. Oh, hey, it's it's lethal lava land. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll deal with that. Yes, I summon a, a forest that's on fire. It's fine. It'll work well enough. No, it's fine. It's fine. Your forest is is untouched throughout the rest of the. Meanwhile, I got a temple. <laughs> I've got, I've, but unfortunately, oh, look at the swamp. Recognize it? Anything about it? Uh, Anything? it's smoky. Look at the very bottom of the card. Oh, it's Bob Ross. Yeah, they. Uh, I'll give you. I'll, I'm gonna get you the code for it because I. I really think I really want you to have the Bob Ross uh, lands, and they're they're. It's inexpensive too, so don't. You don't showed turn me the me one down. with the Bob Ross quote on it. Bob Ross is yeah. canonical to the Magic: The Gathering universe. Yes, Bob Ross. Ink oh, duelist. by the. Killian Ink Duelist. Yeah, it's uh, it's like... It's like that dude from Inuyasha who lasted one episode. Dude, this guy... This guy has is, is a really sad backstory. Basically, he his, uh, his uh, class is Silver Quill. Or basically, if Slytherins were more, like, cool rather than just being dicks. And, uh, and his father is the Dean, and his father just fucking hates him. Oh. Yeah? Nice. Well, I can't attack now. Don't want to sacrifice Killian. Can't kill you. Still need you. No, I can attack still. Uh. Removal sucks. Oh, that's right. Killian, whenever I cast a spell that targets another creature, it, I can... I can 
Good thing he's a, not a blue card. Yeah. But that's an effect that would go really well with red or uh, red or blue. But, uh, yeah. Nah, it, it, it goes well with black because there's cards that can target black. It also goes well with white because there are auras that can target white. Although, theoretically, if you were to run four colors, you could use Killian to just use to just use a bunch of like instant sorcery spells as, as at the cost of bolts. Just use a bunch of multi multi land cards. You get your choice or man of any color taps. Yeah, that's what World Tree is good for. That's a Kaldheim card. If you have like enough land, all the basic lands become all the lands, so you can just tap for every color. And then they just use that shit to summon the prismatic bridge and then and then throw down all the planeswalkers. Uh. Yeah, sure. Uh End him, if you want to end him swiftly, in other words, if you want to fuck him up, good. That just, that exiles the creature. No, it just kills it. Wait, does exile it? Uh. Oh no, it only exiled it because uh, Valentine's out, and if a creature dies, they get exiled. Yeah. Presumably because Valentine just is like, I'll take that. <laughs> Heavens. This is way better to. This is way more fun for people to watch than uh, than X Mage, because it's just it's not a bunch of like flat. There's like stuff happening. Yeah, that background music. I don't. I don't have to do that myself. Yeah, it's got pets too. I get I get a little pet, uh, little pet lotus. Uh, There's also a pet mechanical owl that I that I bring out sometimes. You have so many legendary creatures. Hey, the speaker of the heavens isn't legendary. I guess I'll kill Killian. Okay. Hey, check out the planes. It's another Bob Ross one. Yep. Now the problem with uh, with that with that beast is that I, I if I block with something I'll prevent the damage, but I'll lose a creature. I don't. Know, I wish I had stuff with Death Touch, and I don't want to lose any of my creatures because I need them to do my combos. Yeah. Fuck. Well, you do have combos. Man, I got a couple of uh, of uh, murderous riders that I could totally use. But well, then again, I have to summon them first, and then kill them, and then hope hope that. Uh... Uh... If that had trample, that would be even worse. I would almost have to uh, to just get rid of some of my creatures to get rid of it. I have a spell I can play, but I'm pretty sure if I do, you'll just win next turn. When you're at thirteen, I'm at you're at thirteen. I can't I can't kill you next turn, even if I full swing. But your creature, your Valentin, has life link. And that effect that I would lose a life when you gain a life, so that would deal thir uh, thirteen damage. No, it wouldn't. Why would it? Because the Valentine would gain. Priest. When you gain life, each opponent loses one life. 
one life, yes. So he swings next turn. You get on to 12, and then you lose another life. That's 11. Then, uh, yeah, it would just be 11. And then these two would swing you for would have two, two each. You four, four angels. Not when I swing. I'd have to active. Okay, yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> so that would be 12 damage plus the one lifelink, which would be 13 damage. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. No. There isn't. Hmm. <sighs> I know some somebody's gonna be looking at me going, why can't you don't just attack? And then I'll just be like, I can't. Eat all my if things. Only, if only that angel didn't rotate out, I would have been more confident in uh, in sacrificing some things to meet my life quota. <sighs> Never. <sighs> Adventure. Yeah, that's what those cards are. Adventures. They're creatures and spells. You cast them for their spells, and then you can exile them, and you can play them as their creatures. So basically, if you cast that as its spell, you're guaranteed to have them later on. Let's do it. Uh. Here we go. So, I feel, how is it, I know what you're thinking, how is a man as evil as me able to command the power of angels? Well, I'll tell you. Are they just, they're not just created for the turn, they're just there now. Yeah, they're tokens. It doesn't say remove at the end of next turn. Well, I don't think I can do anything about them. I can block mm. one of them because I have a flying creature, but... I'm going to give you... I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, it doesn't... Unless you get rid of... Uh, you would need to get rid of Veto next turn in order to have it... And even then, I think I could probably outswing you if I swing with... If I full swing... GG. 4, 8, 10, 11, 13. Oh, okay. Okay, can I... Sh uh, so what I was going to do is I was going to activate, uh, give him lifelink, and I could just... So I could have just swung with those two, and it didn't matter if you would have blocked with one of them, because I would still gain the life. Yeah. Yeah, that deck is mean. I, I don't. I'm not gonna use that against you again. <laughs> I'll go back and that try a, one of my previous ones for a better shake. Yeah, you should do that. Sometimes you just get a bad draw. It happens. Wait, hold on. Uh, I forgot to uh, do something. Uh, did I? Is it? Oh. What? Can you? Did, can you? All right. Just all right. Fine. Just uh, just do it. Do what? Accept it. 
I don't see a challenge. I can oh. challenge you. Yeah, do it. What? Uh, but I'm not in a match, stupid game. I hit cancel. By accident. Ah. This. All right, are you, are you gonna let me challenge me now? No, I'm not. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'm gonna restart the game. Okay. Uh, Wait, that... hold on. That deck was just. Uh... That was just supposed to be, like, find a, a, a being able to break through with uh, flying or unblockable or whatever. That's I, good. Um, that's a good strategy. Uh, do you uh, flying is is a, is a decent option, but uh, you can counter that with flying and reach, um, with other flying and reach. Uh, unblock pure unblockable usually comes with a with a condition, but uh, uh, I started with two of those uh, those cards that uh, tap all enemy creatures. So I, I, I had just a, two cards in my hands that weren't very useful because A, they were very expensive, and B, they relied on me being in an advantageous position to go all out on attack. Uh, yeah. I'd say I, 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 you, you're going to need, I think, at some... You're just going to need removal. Like, because removal is, is really good. Just like murder or something. Yeah, murder. Uh, actually, a better a better murder would be heartless act, because that that costs like one less, and you can basically use it to kill people, like creatures without tokens. And uh, if you're playing, and it's an instant speed, as well. Um, you can also use it to remove tokens off of creatures. If we do this uh, again, in case I'll, they do have token, I'll spend some gold and update my decks. If we do this again, I, I got to make sure to get you enough enough uh, gems so you so you can like build some better decks. At the very least, I want to get. You, I want to have you get the uh, Bob Ross basic lands while they're still there. Uh, oh, this deck. Okay, I can. I can work with this. It's like wondering. Wait, which deck is this? So the sanitary, he's insane and he's also undead. That's not a good... <laughs> not like those sane undeads. Yeah. You just bring him back. As long as it's enchanted or equipped. Okay. Oh wow! Is this going to be a standard good uh, tale of good versus evil, light versus dark? Is this how this is going to end up? Hmm. What am I going to do? I think I'll break his knees. <laughs> you had two of those. You broke both, both, both her knees. You bastard! <laughs> One and then the other. Oh, I don't have, I don't have a creature. <laughs> that was supposed to be the creature that that would <laughs> I'm gonna break your legs. You were the chosen one, novice! I would say I would switch that out with dead weight, but I guess I think yeah, that's instant speed. Never mind. I'm not even gonna be able to use this deck's gimmick. I just started with a bunch of filler cards. This black one drops. Okay, what are you? Anatha Kapashin. First strike, vigilance, and lifelink for th three drop. Yeah, and and it's only uncommon. This card is this card is is inexpensive and also easy to like relatively easy to procure. No. Stop breaking my card's legs. Uh. No. 
What are you gonna do? Break his legs too? He's too strong. He's got strong legs. He's got the legs of a knight now. Well, darn. Okay, what is that? Elm of the Host. Yeah. In of combat, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature. Except the token isn't legendary if equipped creature is, is legendary. You just, you just get two two attackers. It, it, it has summoning sickness, so... Uh, you took away all my knights. So I might he as broke, well. He broke all my knight's legs. <laughs> hey, you can... Uh, by the way... Uh, you can, yeah, because then you'll have the mana next turn. Uh, <laughs> they just keep reforming. Of course, A fucking course. Well, you know what? The robed guy just keeps getting badgered by two crazy skeletons now. I've got a second one now. <laughs> what do you think oh, of that? Oh, he doesn't need to attack. It's just at the start of your combat, combat turn. Yeah, he may, be, he may be locked inside a water knot, but he could still put on the helm <laughs> and, and have a proxy. Uh... Do you have what do you have another water knot? Oh. Well not much I can do about that. Actually there's a couple things I can do about that. Can't attack or block. Oh it does have haste, never mind. Oh, it can, wait, you can create a new one every turn? Yeah, every turn on the Helm of the Host, there's a token that's a copy of Equipped Creature. I keep thinking these, these things would only last for one turn. But no, they just, you keep shitting all over the battlefield. <laughs> it's an army of one. This music just kind of makes it more hilarious. It's just the march of the fucking... Oh, oh no, my healer hawk. Wait, what? Oh. What? It's like, hey, you want to activate host helm? Well, I could destroy one of one of them, but you'll just put out another one next turn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot what this deck was. I'm like, okay, this deck was made early on. It's probably not very good. If you have an unsummon, you can use it on your own creature. Yeah, if I did. And then just... Yeah, you don't have any unsummons in this deck. Not in my hand. Ah. Uh, okay, but you do have it in your deck. can do is just keep defending with my stupid insane skeletons. <laughs> hey, Your boss. stupid cloning helmet drops more enemies <laughs> on the battlefield. You know what? You are my greatest teacher when it comes when it comes to uh, finding bullshit at broken decks. All 
Um, the problem is, is that the host helm is legendary, so I can only have one of it on the field at a time. Yeah. Is that a problem? Well, I would have more than one. I'd equip it to the same one, and then, then I just flood the field with, like, I don't even know why this is in my deck. The deck is like supposed to be like uh based off of uh like equipment and uh and uh artifacts. I guess cuz I could have equipped it on. Oh no, I remember now cuz there's another card which makes cart which makes creature cards cost more. The more like like when he's on the field, but he's legendary, so I use Host Helm to get rid of to get around it. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, I could probably use. Oh, that'd be nice, but no, nah, it's too Nothing it's too expensive. All I got left are my stupid skeletons. I can't even cast both of them anymore. Finally. For you. Why bother? Okay, that's why I had that. All right. Yeah, I don't think that deck's a good idea. It's built around the gargoyle, but since the car the gargoyle can't. Uh, attack or block it needs a lot it can of support. block it can't it can't it can block it can't attack though depending the on the reason it couldn't block is because i because i threw the fucking luminous bonds on it it depends on like the number of cards i have in my hand or something or the number in the graveyard yeah graveyard and then it can attack i think no. i need at least four cards in my hand in order for it to block even i think the upside is just is not good enough to outweigh the downside. Yeah. I'd say for if you want a blue flying creature, you'd probably find a Sphinx. Well, I have it in there for the mill effect. It's just there to tap for mi to mill your deck. There's enchantment card. There's an enchantment card that uh, that is better for milling. It's uh, Telefri's tutelage, I think it's called. Uh, oh, okay, cool. All right. Uh <sighs> This one, this So this gate this deck ended up like uh like causing underflow. And I'm not going to explain any more than that. Okay. Uh, Good start. <laughs> This is just my shining moments this stream have just been breaking your creature's bones. <laughs> the bo they call me the bone breaker. The bone co bone collector Zelrog. <laughs> well, I'm out of creatures. Oh no. Oh, it's oh it's the deck that you had no confidence in, but it ended up being like the best deck you've had. Idyllic tutor. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Throw this one in. I have a lot of, like, I have a lot of one-drops in these decks, so I, I start great, and then you ramp up, and you just kick my ass, is how these go. Yeah. Uh... I got another one next turn. Of 
course I draw the same one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, you got a legendary enchantment creature. Yeah. Demigod. <laughs> I, I wish we got more fan art so that someone could draw just your hooded guy being badgered by a, fl a bird, a rat, and an insane skeleton. <laughs> get back. Daxos, get rid of him. Actually, no, I'll get rid of him. Here, I'm gonna what make your rat more have? docile. <laughs> well, my rat can't attack, so that's a gain. You're gonna break his knees, too. This'll be a uh, payment for later. Gain life, put that many tokens on this creature. It's the, the polar opposite of Veto. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice. Haven't seen that card in a long time. Well, um, hmm, not liking this. This, <laughs> it's weird because I usually do very well with this deck. Yeah. So the the thing with this deck is that is that I have creatures with lifelink, and so every turn when I swing with them, it would just gain like two, four, six, eight, and I ended up like hitting the fucking like cap, uh, and then the life it went from like high, very high to like negative. It underflowed, and the game didn't know how to react to that. It was fucking amazing. Hero. Holding out for a hero. Uh, <laughs> Am I right. finally going to get one? All right. A game? Please. Oh, uh, whatever. Why did you gain life? Oh, because life link also activates yeah. on hitting enemies, not just. Yeah, not just on player. Any damage. Theoretically, if you had fight. This angel, sorry, human monk. It can be. Oh, you have 30 or more life. Okay. That would have been useful earlier. In another game, <sighs> in another continuity. Well, I'm gonna say this. Uh, you beat me. You beat me. <laughs> that nightmare was unex. I was not expecting nightmare. Yeah. I need. I, I really. This is why creature removal is is important to have in any kind of deck. Uh, well, if I had one more red, I could finish it here. I have uh, Inescapable Blaze, but I don't. You can finish it now. You have fucking Nightmare. You can just swing with that and kill me. Get him. Nay! Nightmare Horse. I, I like cards that hinge on how many how much mana you have. Or how yeah. many land cards you control. 
There's there's Useful. our one victory screen. You that earned was the, it. That was the Red Rakshasa deck. Yeah, uh... We didn't even see the Rakshasa. No, you didn't need to, because Nightmare is actually more useful than... Because it can block. It's just all, uh... It's like, just all black mana effects and uh, direct damage with red cards. Or black cards, in the case of knee-breaking. Yeah, the knee-breaking. <laughs> just is, shut is... you down early game. That that was rough. That was really rough. That that really sucked to deal with. Cause I just I did not know. Wait. Oh, is this is this the deck I think it is? Okay, and you go first. All right. Uh, uh, all right, this is a good, decent start for me. I can probably, I can work with this. This is acceptable. Let me guess, you're gonna throw down a black and break my, <laughs> break my elf's legs again? <laughs> no, you didn't. All right. Hmm. That should be the name of a magic card with that. I'd be like, go for the legs. That was a good card, actually. I like that card. Two drop, double strike. Yeah. Okay, I can play that now, but... How has power creep been for magic? Like, if you go back to the earliest magic cards... Do they like really pale in comparison to what's so out So here's nowadays? the thing, the earliest, the, no, 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 it's actually quite the opposite. The earliest magic cards are considered like so powerful that they've been slowly trying to like make the game better ever since. They had to develop a new format to, to like make sure that old, like old cards were not used in the newer decks. Yeah. If any, magic has the opposite problem because they're like, they actually made the first thing too powerful and they're like, oh shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack. I'm not gonna block. Cause black, the most powerful card is Black Lotus. I feel like Pokemon has gotten just disgusting power creep. Cause now yeah. nowadays everything is like uh, they have all these EX cards and special super collectibles. They if anything, I, I want to say that the latest Magic set has been considered to be kind of like less of a power level but people are all right with that considering draft is still a thing yeah and uh draft and people love drafting pokemon was a the trading card game was originally supposed to be balanced about you know you have to evolve to get the really good creatures unless they're legendaries but now they've got like everything is a legendary they've got fully evolved pokemon that you can just put down immediately yeah God, I don't have the, I don't. Hmm. I mean, it's a 10-10, but you need to have all green mana to cast it, so I think it's balanced. It also has no abilities. Gigantosaurus. <laughs> oh no. No, he's just as cuddly as a rock. How at dare you? At least its knees are intact. <laughs> you killed it with kindness. <laughs> so now this weak-ass 1-1 one -one human fencer is just poking your guy like, Ha ha, tally-ho, come at you! And then the Lanowar elf, one of them is like, I don't feel so good. Mutated into a spider. Yeah, the elf turned into a spider. <laughs> it can still it can still tap for mana. Now it's four or five and has reach. Yeah. Jeez. 
Jesus, I won't. Oh, that fucking thing. <laughs> Well, you stop my flying thing. I can't attack. I can't attack anymore. Uh. Oh. Damn it. I... Oh. I. I don't know what to do. Ugh. That fucking pig. <laughs> that fucking pig is just... <laughs> I mean, I should be grateful because the more things I, I block with it, the more cards I get, but... Man. Okay, I got a plan. Mutants. Oh, you got the forest god. Exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards. Whereas X is the number of times I mutated, yeah. Those permanent cards onto the battlefield. Okay, so, so you the, just... the elf became a spider, which became uh, an elk uh, and, and uh, the god of uh, the... <laughs> and then meanwhile, the boar's like, I can't fight a fellow. Also, it summoned another Gigantosaurus. Yeah. One that's meaner than its, uh... Unless you got another pacifism. Although, if you did, you probably would have thrown it on the spider. Alright. I guess that's a block outlet why you threw down that tree. But. Let's keep mutating this poor elf. That's how I get power. Uh, wait, how many? Oh, I got a Colossal Majesty as well. That's nice. Uh... Wait, what happened to my other... Oh, no, it blocked the pig. That's why it died. All right. Well, shit. It doesn't have trample, does it? No, just reach. I no, hardly so... knew ye. But you're like, what are you doing? And then this monstrous, this part elf, part spider, two parts spider, one part elf, one part... No, it's two parts deer. I just want to say I fucking love... Uh... Ikora. Ikora is my favorite set because of the mutate mechanic where I'm just like creating these like monstrosities. Well, shit. I will say, um, if you can get it, you should, uh, if you're running white, you should get at least like a couple of copies of Wrath of God or some kind of table wipe. Because I've had a thing where I've had like a bunch of creatures and then somebody threw down a wrath and I'm like, well, shit. I just did the single player stuff and I built decks based on the cards that I had. I haven't looked at like everything available in the current standard set. That's a lot of cards to go through. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. Well, that's GG. Yeah, that's GG. Wait, did you not take damage the entire time until that that moment? Didn't I? I get maybe yeah. I didn't. I blocked oh, your guy with my tree. Yeah, so so you did avoid a fourteen, and then okay. I was just short of casting uh, any of the spells I had on hand. They were all a little too expensive. Also, um, if you have five hundred gold, that's not enough to buy like. Uh, like a pack but you can if you get once you get better you can uh 
you can participate in events, and then if you win all seven, you can double your gold count. Yeah. So you just keep winning, and heck, even if you make it like only five, you can make it back. So that's a good way to increase your gold. I have about ten thousand right now, so I could get. That's not bad. You can get ten packs of something. Yeah, each pack is a thousand. Uh. Oh, do okay. I have to pick like which kind of pack I get? Yeah, there's there's like a bunch of packs. Um, it they it even clearly marks which ones are standard rotation and which ones aren't. Hello, Amy. Right. Hello. Just two people playing magic. One of whom plays this game much more than the other. Yeah. Jack has the significant advantage in terms of card count and card knowledge, but hey, I got one victory by breaking his legs over and over again. <laughs> compound, compound fracture. Fr compound fracture. Yeah, I'll do this. You don't have a copy of Goblin Slayer in your deck, do you? I don't know. Not in this deck. I don't know Perfect. if I have that card. Perfect. This is your Goblin deck? Yeah. I called. I tried to type in Goblin Rulers, but I ended up mistyping as Goblin Rooters, and I just kept it. Will this work? <laughs> no, it still created the token. I figure it. What? Where's my buddy? <laughs> Who called me here? The instigator is gone because he because because he used magic to shatter his leg. My old the only creatures I have are green, and I don't have the green mana. This is this is the three color deck. Wait, you <laughs> you really got to invest in dual lands. I think I have some. I don't have, obviously not enough, but... By the way, one token goblin as strong as one human. Yeah. And a bear is, is twice as strong as a regular goblin, which would mean that a, that a bear could body a goblin every time. It would take at least two goblins to body a bear. Three if you want to minimize casualties. We gotta come up with a mathematical formula to convert uh, magic power to Dragon Ball power levels. Oh, um, hmm. I guess it's just like, uh, I guess they're just double. Well, that wouldn't make sense. A, an adult human is a power level of two. An adult human, a, a warrior is a power level of one, one. So any regular uh, bloke, which has presumably trained in some level of martial arts, is one, one. Yeah. Let's call, let's call Yamcha a three, one. He's let's, a little bit get... above that, but... Okay, 3-2. Uh, I can't, I can't keep in mind, a Cyberman, a Cyberman self-destructed, exploded on him and killed him. So that's at least three damage. Two, then. Um, Saiyans have an ability where every time they take damage, they get stronger. So whenever this creature takes damage, it gains, plus, it gains a 1-1 one, one counter. Oh, no. Uh, nothing worse than a fucking pacifistic, uh... Alright. Well, I know you want me to attack, but it's really not in my nature, you see. You know what? You cast pacifism on Frieza. That would be weird. Why do I suddenly feel bad for everything I've done? I don't... Frieza, don't... just get off... Stop drinking wine and help us! No, I'm just gonna drink wine. <laughs> That's that's all that's all it needed. It needed somebody to cast pacifism on Frieza. I think this was a poor start. Yeah. I'm not even running like key goblin components. I'm not running Krenko. I should be running Krenko. I, I, I but I'm not because he can just create like tons of goblin tokens. Fifty goblins pester a lion. And he can't do anything about it. <laughs> Fifty goblins versus Frieza, but Frieza apparently has access to like wipe 
magic. He's got access to Wrath of God. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, whoops. I, I, I meant to go full swing, but I... You got, you got, uh, you got the, you got a bad. I needed one green mana to do fucking anything. You know what? I'm going to say this wasn't fair, so I'm going to concede. Oh, that, like... that's nice of you. <laughs> but, uh... I, ca I cast pacifism on Jack. <laughs> Goku, uh, what, what, what do you think his, uh, his PT would be? His power it... toughness. Oh. Well, that's what I was saying, is because if an adult human is a power level of two, but they're one-one in magic, then that would you would just have them. But that can't be right. I'm going to tell you this right now, that uh, that um, a spell that could destroy land casts uh, three yeah. uh, mana value. So Because if it was just a half ratio, then when you get to you know power levels of a million, then the magic card would be like 500,000. That's not going to okay. work. I'm going to tell you this right now, and Eldrazi, like, uh, Imracul, the, the, the infamous Eldrazi was 2020. Yeah. No, not 2020, 1515. Wow, it really and was I the don't end think, of the world. And I don't think that, uh, I do not think that any Dragon Ball characters could defeat, could defeat him. Yeah. Maybe. Uh. What about Beerus? And also, <laughs> Beerus is a god, it's got, Beerus is... You think Beerus is indestructible? No, Beerus doesn't have indestructible. Okay, well, something funny. Yeah, okay, that's hard. To the Goku. only time Beerus was ever killed was when someone killed the Kai, which kills him yeah. as well. Yeah, so, oh, so that, Beerus is there would a come lich into... mechanic? There are cards that allow you to, uh, to become a lich. Do you, like, but, tie uh, your life to another card? This creature has indestructible... This creature is indestructible as long as this other creature is on the field. If that creature is destroyed then 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 sacrifice this card yeah that could work that mechanically that could actually work i'm surprised uh, that doesn't exist i think it does it just doesn't exist in that uh, in that form all right i'm gonna play a, a deck that i've never played before uh yeah sure we'll play this deck back for more so what would go could be eight eight then Goku is as strong as, I, I or no, guess. ten ten. It also depends on which which part of the series Wait, Goku we're talking. No 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 about. no. Okay, so here's how it will work in Magic. Goku starts off as like a three three, but as as the game progresses, you can pump him up to be to be stronger. Yeah. That's how I think that would work. Because you could have because there are other like Magic that he uses to bolster himself, like an Aura card called Super Saiyan, which is where he gains. As long as you pay like a certain mana cost every turn, he's like at five five. He gains five five or something like that. Something crazy like that. This deck has like uh, this deck has no creatures in it. What? Why? Why would you do such a thing? Uh, like then again, there are like creatureless decks that people run. I had to mulligan down to four cards. I got de uh, decent four cards, but... How do you already have one life? Oh, you, you played out a land that gives you life. Juggle Hollow, yeah. I have no idea what's in this deck. seen this thing before. Dies yeah. create a saproling. Yep. So you want to attack with that rat? I'll still be up. Come on. Do it. Kill me. It 
What's your name of your typhoid ride? Is it Marshall? Is its name Marshall? Why would it be named Marshall? I'm thinking of that one uh, when you are playing in when you're playing an RPG for the first time video. Do you ever see that video? No, or I don't remember. Of course, if I have. of course, you had that. <laughs> That's okay. I can still block. Oh, I got options. Uh, I'll play this. Spider versus rat. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery, create a green spider creature token. I guess it uses the ambient energy from the opponent casting a spell to, like, hatch spiders or something. You gonna break its legs? That'll be a tough, tough call. It's got eight of them. Yeah. <laughs> also, that's also an instant spell, so you'll get a token if I do that. Also, it's got five toughness. It's too tough to, to be affected by a compound fracture. You need to. Again, I can death break. touch it, but that depends on you blocking. So, I'll just hold my rats back for now. See, you're learning. <laughs> oh, I like the fact that it's not typhoid rat. It's typhoid rats. Apparently there's enough rats to be able to body a human. Uh... Nightmare Shepherd. That looks like a JoJo stand. Enchant JoJo stand would be an enchantment creature. Let's let's be let's be honest. Yeah. Whenever JoJo, whenever this creature, whenever JoJo, uh comes into play, create a 5-5, 4-4. Five, five, four, four. What would be the power level of Star Platinum? I just, if, it, if it's a stand for whatever's being enchanted, it would have to like be based on whatever the card it's put on is. It has a shares the same base power toughness. Like It would be the, the arrow, same. would be the equipment. Oh, yeah. Whenever you equip it, it you create a copy. Or you can tap uh, the, it once per turn to make a token enchantment and or then, something. And then it leaves the battlefield at the end of the turn. Well, you can use the arrow on as many people as you want to. Okay, yeah, you're right. Tap the arrow, create a co create a creature with the power toughness and same abilities as... Oh, that'd be cool. Make a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's 1-1 one, one as a nightmare in addition to its other type. Yeah. So it's not too powerful, because yeah, it's only 1-1, one, one, but... Uh, you can make like a husk of a creature that just died. The the image of a creature, the memory, the bad memory of the creature. Like when Slade was taunting Robin after. You know what? No. I don't need to attack with anything. I got my I got my nightmare shepherd. I can just swing with that. And you know what? It's got those thick meaty legs. The compound fracture won't even hurt it. Oh, it's flying, so I can't even... The rat can't sick my rats on it. Nope. Well, unless my, you got... My defense you got, is rats, and you, you're you just going to send your flying dude over them for the time being. Yes, that is correct. Hmm. That would be an even more... A bigger dick. That Thalon's going to mutate into this. Boneyard Lurker. Whatever it mutates, return target permanent from your graveyard to your hand. Yep, that Death Bloom Thalad's gonna come back. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to mutate when you have broken legs. Well, it did mutate, it just came in, oh, I guess. Darn. <laughs> it didn't gain the abilities of. I didn't know that could ha. Oh. Okay, now it's got summoning sickness. That's the difference. All right. Well, I'm just. You also got it. your token. Yeah. You should have just let me mutate it. Should I have? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, oh, I don't see a lot little... of hope for me this time. I got no more mana. Oh, you're you're uh, you're in a mana drought. I can break your legs, but all your cre you got strong legs this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what do I got? Uh. Skull Prophet. Skulls oh, no. for the Skull Throne. What's it gonna be? Oh no! The rat is going to poison the great spider. Yeah, I will exile it. <laughs> You're not getting your fucking spider. I don't care if I lose this match, that thing's going down. <laughs> like, arguably it's supposed to be creepier because it's just like the fucking, uh, like, image of it, and then you just break its legs. <laughs> Alright. Is that it? You done? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going out with a fuck you. Oh, that's cool. I, uh... You know, I should have just raised the dead on the spider. Oh, well. went about as well as the game usually goes when you start with four cards. Yeah. Even worse if you just decide you're going to just top deck everything. Let's top do one more game. Alright, let's do one more game. You care what deck I use or... Ah, uh, no. The only Which one just... that just had an awful track record was the the mill deck that was built around the gargoyles. Yeah, it seems like it seems like your uh, your deck's kind of green white didn't do great. I think the one win I had was with the uh, I think it was the rats deck. Rats were good. The one evolving death touch. Oh god. Oh no. Get a bad start. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll do this one. I would also like a free mulligan option. Yeah, especially if it's just for casual play. That'd be nice. Why am I not surprised you're doing the fucking typhoid rats again? This is a different deck. They just, two of them happen to have the rats. Death touch it's is annoying. one drop. Death touch is fucking annoying, because then he's like, oh, that's something I gotta deal with. How you you're you gonna really What what do you think how do you think this is gonna go, Jack? <laughs> but, the, but there are no legs for the snake to the snake's made out of stone. Uh. You oh, can add a ramp now. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, th I thought you were going to break the tree's legs for a second there. Fine. I have very epic music playing right now. 
So same here. I think it's because this is Ikora. Uh. Okay. I'm not. That was a costly mistake. What for me? Creature, uh. That's a lot of text. Yeah. You take your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right, it was a, I was right, it was a costly mistake. That was a lot of text I'm not gonna bother reading. <laughs> Is it hexproof? No? Okay, cool. Oh, the fucking Bayou Bear is back. <laughs> Yeehaw! So, uh, Crash 4, yeah, I don't know how much you know about Crash. Do you know the character Dingo Dial? Dingo Dial? No, I don't. He's a dingo and he's a crocodile and he's got a flamethrower. Oh, yeah, that's right. And they that just, cool. uh,. For Crash 4, they just, they basically turned him into Fuzzy Lumpkins. Which, uh, uh Powerpuff Girls Z Fuzzy Lumpkins, or? There's either. Are they, are they that different? Good point. Are you gonna swing with your rat? Uh, I guess, well, ah, I'll, I'll save him. He, he can kill the bear, potentially. He's my bear protection. Uh, okay. A little short on mana, you may have noticed. I can still make this work. Go, Bayou Bear. That's a dog. It's not a bear, it's a dog. Okay. I mean, you can't tell because... <laughs> nope. No. Well, I th you didn't have any mana. No, I had the I had the 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 oh, tree. The... Darn it! I was gonna kill. I was gonna shoot that tree. I know you were. Now you have to shoot the serpent. Target creature you control. So the tree now has hex proof. Yeah, so it can't. And even if it didn't, it wouldn't matter. Oh, you're just gonna shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> oh, darn it. Okay. Have all your mana. Oh, you let it go through. <laughs> Why did you let it go through? You I didn't have all your mana. <laughs> I didn't have anything I could play. Yeah, that right. <laughs> Darn it! I was, I was, oh, whatever. Uh oh. Right. 
This one's close so far. Could we get a second Zalrog win? We'll see. Here we go. Uh-oh. That just is that any forest mana? That's how that works. All right, cool. Uh Ah. Would be useful, but Interesting scry effect. Yeah. Get your I thought onyx so too. back. Another one, actually. Yeah, this has got pretty strong knees. <laughs> you're pretty good. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to double up. You're gonna have to double up your effort on breaking his knees. Yeah. Oh shit! That's right. If you do, if you actually have two of those. Somehow I am still alive. Okay, it's down to the <laughs> this last. This is the last turn. This is the last turn for. Okay, that wouldn't have worked anyway because I have got trample. But just in case, I would have had this. Yeah. I have shock. If I got one red mana. I just never got one. Oh, shock would have been... It would have been good game two turns ago. That was close, actually. It was close. I had just, I, if I didn't have those uh, veils, the snakeskin veils, I would have, I would have died there. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I was down to the wire that last turn. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was a really good match. All right. Well, well we, I, got, we got some mostly close matches. I appreciate you playing. I know this uh, Magic isn't your favorite game in the whole world, but that was that was really fun. Not something I come to a whole lot, but it's fun when we do get to play. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that'll be it for this stream. That's it for today. Uh, don't know when we'll be back next. I'm back to a full schedule next week, so. Uh... Uh, I think I got. I think Saturday I'm working. Friday I'm off. Uh, so I might have Sunday off. It depends on how they schedule me. We'll see. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time.